Hello and welcome to another tutorial slash plugin giveaway. Today's uh, giveaway plugin is called Blinker. So after working with a lot of scenes and realizing that I need to be blinking my characters a lot, I decided to make a plugin to make that process easier. So let me load a few characters here to demonstrate the functionality of the Blinker. So if you go to utilities and click add plugins, you can add the plugin from there select it and add and then you go to master plugins and go down here you'll find it says blinker and you can open that up all right so as soon as you load the item if you load the blinker if the item selected has morphs the morphs are going to be loaded in this sequence so the morph i'm looking for is close so here let me increase the timeline if i just hit blink and the character will bl blink there and then I can go to another area and blink again and then move along and then I can actually select another character like this one and it will refresh the morphs again if that same morph is found in the character in this character as well it will be displayed and then you can just click so blink I go here blink again and I go here blink again just like that so it makes the blink process very easy so if you're the type that uh, likes to blink left and right eye separately, you can do that by going to the, by creating two separate morphs, each that uh, closes one eye. So this one is closed left, for example. Let me go to this this guy here at frame 60. Let me go and say close left and then blink. And then I can move a frame forward and use the close right and blink. So now I have that uh, blinking that has separate uh, the famous separate eye blink like that with a click of a button so the the nice thing about this whole thing is uh, okay before I go to that uh, here on the options you can select the number of frames that you want the blink to last in my case it's five frames because I'm running at uh, 15 frames per second yours can be less or more depending on what you want and then this morph amount is how much to apply the morph uh, those are the only two options the advantage with this thing is you don't need to add morph mixer to your character it would do that automatically so if you see this item here let me go to properties there's morph mixer there if i remove it and then um, reselect the item i go to that frame let's go to frame 70 somewhere there and then now it doesn't have morph mixer but i can still go there and actually blink let me select the close there and as you have noticed, the blink happens again because Morph Mixer has been added automatically by the plugin. So that's what happens. And now, one more thing to note that is it, it adds a linear interpolation to your keyframes in advance. So if you click on the E here, you see that the blink that I added here, uh, the blink that I added here is already clearly defined uh, with the linear if I select these keyframes you see that they've got a linear interpolation so this is not what normally happens if I do my blinks directly from uh, morph mixer for example let me go to frame 80 and then click there move a few frames forward close the eyes a few frames forward again open them again and then I go let's say to frame 100 let me increase this to 120 and then I say click there go a few frames forward a few frames forward again and click so now i've created two blinks here there and there now if you notice in between the blinks the the character opens its eyes very wide why this is happening is because the interpolation of the keyframes is not linear but it's curved so this is what normally happens if you do it without the plugin even though if i go to the graph editor options i specifically put the interpolation on linear it only happens it only works on other object except morphs morphs somehow just ignore this i don't know why that happens so normally i'll have to go in select these keyframes and then after adding all the blinks and then i say linear but if you're using my plugin here you'll notice that uh, if let me go back here at that frame and just add a blink right there you see that the interpolation is already made linear as soon as I added let me go to another one and add a blink 
So as you can see, it saves you a lot of time. Instead of doing all these manually, you can simply do this uh, click the blinker and it's going to do all that for you. All right, so the link to the blinker is in the description. So if you have any com uh, comments on it or things I can add to it and so on, just uh, leave that in the comments and I'll try to read that. All right, so hopefully this helps you out. I'll see you in another